Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. And uh, in today's video, I'm going to be checking out the new uh, Christmas update that just came out. So yeah, let's just see what they added. So I just want to mention along with this update, what came out um, was another update that limits the amount of loot crates you can actually carry. So it, it's 50 now. You were supposed to only go down to like 50. I had like... 58 or 60 loot boxes so I'm down to 48 so they basically just automatically open 9 or 10 loot boxes and now I have absolutely no idea what I got so first things first I'm gonna check out new kaijus that were added not kaiju skins for kaijus that were added so I can tell you right off the bat that there is definitely yes okay so there's this Godzilla skin right here uh, I don't this is a legendary skin which is interesting because it seems like it'd be like an ancient skin or something like that but the thing with the ancient skins is a lot of them come with like a reanimation so they might not have had time to reanimate the uh, skins so we have two new skins for Titanus Godzilla um, so yeah this is the first one the Krampus and then obviously we have the ancestor one Alright, let's see what we have for Zilla. Um, Gingerbread Zilla. This is the one that we have been seeing in the teasers. So that's pretty cool. Uh, next up, I just skipped over Gigan. I know there is a new kind of meme skin for Gigan. Yeah, this is the meme skin. 9,000 G cells. Obviously, I'm too poor to buy it. And then we have the Elf Gigan which is similar to the one in Project Kaiju 3.0. Which it's nice that they're kind of giving us back the skins that were in 3.0, because I actually really like the way some of the 3.0 skins look. Especially the Snowman Orga, but I'm not sure if they actually added that one. We'll take a look. Yes, they do have the Snowman Orga, which is my favorite one from 3.0. So definitely have to check that one out today. Because, you know, 4,000 G-cells plus my loot crates, so I definitely want to buy one if I can. And for Godzilla 2000, anything? Okay, we have the Snow Godzilla 2000. So this one, uh, you'll notice that it says limited instead of, nope, not that one. Oh yeah, we also have a festive tree one. But yeah, the Snow one, which is limited, um, which actually there was an explanation for this. All right, so I believe, yeah, to get Snow Godzilla 2000, you must play Project Lemon and complete the Frostbite on the right side to obtain the Frostbitten badge, which is gonna unlock the, uh, the Snowman, or the Snow Godzilla. All right, there's apparently a new map as well, the new Frozen map, which some of you may have seen from other videos, probably the Mecha Godzilla one. So I'm gonna open up my loot boxes and let's see what we get. Okay, so from that haul, I believe we got one, I think we got three of the skins. We got the Krampus skin for Godzilla 2000, which we can check out right now. Oh, there's the uh, Snowman Orga, which is pretty cool. Alright, so this is the Krampus Godzilla skin. Definitely pretty cool. I personally have never seen the Krampus movie. However, from uh, Dinosaur Simulator, I remember there was a Krampus Giga, so I remember, you know, that. So I definitely know about the character, and, you know, it's pretty cool. 
definitely a nice skin. These skins look like, you know, effort was actually put into them. So like they're not just recolors. So I like how this one looks. And I know we got the Zillow one as well. And we got the 2000 one. So we'll check out the Zillow one first. This one is only an Epic. So we'll see how this one looks. All right. Um, yeah, this is pretty cool. I kind of expected there to be well, something more on the head. This seems to just be like a dent on him. So, oh wait, no, maybe that's a bite of some sort. It kind of looks like a bite now that I think of it. So yeah, this is a cool skin and probably a skin I'm gonna use for a little bit at least. So that, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, just overall, gingerbread, they're really, it, this one's a little less sophisticated than the uh, Monsterverse Godzilla because, you know, it's gingerbread, so it's really just a recolor with a couple, you know, small things added to it. And yeah, so the third skin we got was the Godzilla 2000, not the snow, but the, where is it? Festive Tree Godzilla 2000. And the thing about this one is, I want to know if it can glow in the dark. Because obviously it has, you know, all these glowy bits, so. Um, this looks kind of like uh, the Moss Godzilla 2000, with a little Santa hat and red eyes, so. A little creepy looking. I like the uh, texture on the back palette, so that looks pretty dope. And just in general, yeah, it's a, still a pretty cool skin. I think all the skins in this event are definitely pretty cool. Do they have a... Oh shoot, okay, yeah, we'll just turn and we've just put our tail into the building. I just want to see if there's like a little... Like, you know how anglerfish have that thing on their heads? Let's see if there's one on his tail. Oh no, so it's just lights. So yeah, that pretty cool skin. Um... Out of the three that I've gotten today, I'm going to have to say that the Krampus was my favorite. And I don't believe I got any of the other ones. Yeah, because that's Halloween. So the only really Christmas Gigan was this, you know, one, which is interesting. Oh, no, and the, and the Elf Gigan. I forgot about that. Yeah, I'll have to buy this eventually, but not right now. I am probably going to wait for the other skins to get them from loot boxes instead of spending my uh, entire life savings of G-Cells on them so i'm gonna check out this krampus skin actually this ancestor skin looks pretty cool so if it comes down to it i'll probably end up buying this one but i don't believe that that one's limited yeah it's under here it's not one of the christmas skins it's just a normal skin so definitely interesting um yeah so this is probably my favorite skin i really like the uh just the whole design of it is there anything in there is it hollow? It is hollow. It's where he keeps his spines that he uh, he steals from people because those totally aren't his own. Oh, and there he goes. I didn't actually mean to do that. So yeah, overall, I feel like this is definitely my favorite skin so far, at least. Just the detail is pretty insane here, and I like the little horns on it. Very cool. And the chain. I'm not sure exactly what that's even for. But it looks like, yeah, it was almost like handcuffs or something. Maybe he like escaped from some, I don't even know. Yeah, like a prisoner of some sort, because he's also got a chain around his neck. Let's see if he has a different color beam. Oh, a red beam. That's pretty cool. I didn't even check what uh, the Zilla beam color was. I'll actually check that right now. And then I'll head into a battle. So yeah, we'll see this. And then we'll just reset and then I don't I assume the uh, the other skin is just gonna be I mean the other skin that Godzilla 2001 to be is just gonna be like green or something like that probably oh yeah white so this one's white white with a mix of green which is interesting and we will check out the 2000 beam of course the ones that I get all have beams so I have to check out all the beams on that I'm assuming this is like blue or something kind of like how it was 3.0 all right, let's see, what do we have? 
Oh, so it's a white beam as well. All right, but the spines still are, uh, the, the spines still turn yellow, or at least I think they do. I'm not colorblind or anything, but yeah, it looks like they still turn orange with just the, they've got like a snowflake texture on them. That's cool. It'd be cool if they were like, you know, like a blue instead of like a yellow or maybe like a green or maybe this color, just the color that the, uh, spots actually are. But, you know, orange probably just to, you know, remind people that it's still Godzilla 2000. It's not any other kaiju. So. Alright. Um, yeah, we're just going to head into a solo battle now and see if we can get the new map. See you guys then. Alright. And we are finally in. Alright, so, um, first thing I want to say is there was actually a two-day gap in between this part of the video and the last part of the video and that is because I actually had to do some preparation for the holidays so I couldn't actually play much so yeah um that's that oh please don't die please don't tell me that's death oh thank god okay I was about to say anyway this is the new map which is pretty cool I like how there's snow and it like your feet get stuck in it which is pretty cool deep snow because this is Godzilla so you know pretty tall dude anyway so I like the uh, the lighting on this map definitely better than uh, some of the other ones like I remember Planet X whenever it first got released it was pretty much darkness now I don't know where this guy is but I'm pretty sure he went down there somewhere so I'm gonna head down oh there he is he's hiding in here so I guess this is like some sort of icicle field which I thought it was going to be like the uh, that one caverns map where you would just, you know, die if you went down here. Oh, that would have been a beam clash that had been a second earlier. So, um, in regard to my last video, I'm pretty sure you still can parry. What the... Okay, there's a lot of uh, ice, wind, I don't even know. But yeah, that's kind of hard to see. Okay, this guy's just counterpicking everything I do, which is lovely. And again, this probably isn't the best matchup for me. So anyway, yeah, I thought it would be like the other map, and I would just die. So, Also, yeah, um, I keep like interrupting my own thoughts. You actually can parry. Come here. Okay. Well, fine, you can have that. You can parry because Blade decided that it would be better. And it was sort of a lot of backlash on it, so... Did I win? Okay, apparently those don't work anymore. That's cool. So yeah, overall, I think this is a pretty decent update. Um, yeah, I kind of wish there was like another map, more like holiday themed, kind of like last year, because we already had a frozen map, and then we got the, uh, the map with the Christmas tree in the middle of it, which is definitely one of the better maps. I liked it at least. And it looks like this map also has some clipping issues. Like the ones with the, uh, the battle pass before. I'm just gonna ult this guy to death. I feel like it's it's necessary to end the video that way. I need to hit him once. Hopefully this won't kill him. Cause I doubt he's killing me right now. All right, maybe I can get him. Please don't die. Oh, thank God. And he's dead. Yeah, good game, buddy. All right, well that's pretty much gonna be it for the video. I got like three loot boxes from that. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy the video, feel free to leave a like, and subscribe if you're new. As always, I will see you guys in the next one.